Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Sean Smith 1989 on how to create a light fog effect. So to illustrate this, I have a simple scene here with this character. So let's go ahead and render this out. And as we can see, uh, there's really nothing special about this right now. I don't have any lights in my scene. So let's go ahead and bring in a light. Now, uh, for setting up something like a light fog, I usually prefer to use something like a spotlight. So I'll go to Create, Lights, and Spotlight. Pull that in. Uh, let's look through the spotlight here so we can position this over our character. Have a light right here. Looks pretty good. So we can see uh, what it looks like with the spotlight in our scene. Now, in order to get the light fog effect, we we'll want to select the spotlight and hit Control A to open up our attribute editor. And we'll scroll down until we see the light effects. Now, if we open that up, there'll be an option here for light fog. And all we really have to do is to uh, just click the checker box there. And Maya will go ahead and set up most of that for us. So as we can see, we have uh, that fog that's being cast out of our light now. Uh, so if we were to save what we had before, we can see the result that we get. Uh, we're definitely getting some of the light fog, but it's chopping off right here uh, around our uh, character's legs here. Now the reason for that is actually because th by default right here, we can see it's not coming all the way down to the ground. So we can simply uh, select this cone shape here, go into our scale tool, and just scale this up a little bit so it's coming all the way uh, down onto the ground. And when we render this back out again, uh, we can see we're not getting that line anymore because it's being cast all the way down onto the ground. Now, there's a couple different attributes that we can adjust to help control this fog. Uh, one of those would be the spread. So if we were to, uh, say, bump this up just a little bit here, uh, we can see how that's going to affect our, our light. It's basically going to um, not feather the edges nearly as much to help kind of give a, uh, a more crisp look to our fog. Uh, but I usually like to, pref like to leave it at the default of one because that looks pretty pretty good. Um, something like this where it kind of feathers off. Now the uh, primary attribute here that we'll want to adjust is the intensity. So we can either dial it up quite a bit or we can bring it down depending on what sort of look that we're going for in our scene. So we can see with the intensity of two uh, what we get compared to what we had before with one. So uh, Depending on what look you're going for, you can adjust the intensity in order to uh, brighten up the light fog. Now, in this particular case, <laughs> it's still kind of hard to see my character's face. Um, so I'm going to come in and actually just pull in something like an ambient light here. Uh, maybe dial it down quite a bit just so that we can see our character's face. There we go. That looks a little bit better. You can see him a little bit easier there with the uh, addition of the ambient light. Now, another cool thing that we can do with this light fog is to add in some streaks uh, from our character. So basically, um, adding in some shadows that will be cast in the fog itself. So to do that, we'll want to select our light, and we'll want to enable our depth map shadows. So if I turn that on, we can see that we're not only getting some nice shadows on the ground here, but we're also getting some nice streaking shadow effects in our fog itself. Now there's some special attributes within the depth map shadows. If you scroll down, uh, we'll have the fog shadow intensity, where if we were to turn this up, what that will do is that will uh, darken up the shadows within our fog. So we can see the uh, different sort of effect that we get when we bump up the f shadow intensity, so this was before, and this is after we increased it, uh, definitely able to see those shadows much more. Uh, but we also noticed that we're getting some graininess here in the shadows themselves. So that's where the next attribute comes in, and that's the fog shadow samples. 
Now, if we were to increase this, that will help to smooth out the shadows, but it could also increase our render times, as um, is often something that we'll see when we increase the samples. It also increases our render time. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, but if we were to take this, say, up to 40 to double that, and as we can see, by increasing these sample levels, uh, we were able to smooth out a lot of that graininess. So this was before and then after increasing these sample levels. Uh, but if you also notice, our render time also increased pretty significantly um, just by increasing the fog shadow samples there. So that's a quick look at how we can set up a light fog effect using a spotlight. Now, if you want to learn some more lighting techniques, I'd recommend checking out the Introduction to Lighting in Maya course.